Right then, who doesn't love a crumble? Crumble's British, full flavoured, loads of fruits, lots to do. Lovely, lovely crunch on the top. This is a really nice way of doing it. And a bit of a blaggy one, one for at home. This is a berry medley. And it's got a mixture of red currants, black currants, looks like raspberries, blackberries, great big strawberries. I'm just gonna put them onto this oven proof dish. That simple, all right? All the frozen berries go in. And at this point, I'm just gonna give it a little dusting of sugar, okay? And we're going to stick it in the oven. Now this is normally for a, a, a crumble like this, you make your fruit compote at the beginning. You cook it out, you kind of like make this lovely, whether it's apple, whether it's berries like this, and you cook it, you stew it, and then you leave it to go cold, and then you put the crumble on. But the berries, frozen, couple of these cinnamon sticks. Just going to put two of those in, and at this point, I'm going to stick it into a preheated oven, 190 degrees and just leave it to stew and bake for about 10 minutes. And what will happen is they, they won't completely break down. They'll, some of them will still be frozen in the middle, that's fine. I'm just kind of just bringing it all to a level. So whilst that's in the oven, I'm gonna make my crumble mix, okay. So I've got a pan on the stove that's fairly hot. I'm gonna melt 250 grams of butter. It sounds like quite a lot. It is quite a lot. So the butter's in the pan melting down and into that I've got a load of runny honey and I'm just going to squeeze all of that in. Honey and butter's going to melt together okay. We just, I mean we can kind of make it go nutty and brown and get a bit of a caramelisation on it that'll add an extra flavour but I'm not too worried okay. So in here some plain flour about 250 grams. Got some flaked almonds alright. Now you can toast these beforehand if you want to but for me, they're just going to go in. About 100 grams of them. Good couple of handfuls of rolled oats. Great big giant ones. And then some sugar, okay? Caster sugar. About 100 grams of that. Let's kind of mix it together. And then when this butter and honey is fully dissolved, we're going to add it together. And this is our crumble topping, okay? So the sweetness is going to come from the bit of caster sugar that's in there but the honey that's in with that butter. This isn't too overly sweet. There's a natural sweetness that comes from those berries, but they've also got a bit of acidity to them, a bit of bite, a bit of zest, a bit of life, and that's really quite cool. So the butter and the honey, it's kind of bubbling away now, all right? So it's, I mean, right now you could pour it on and it would work really nicely, but I'm just gonna cook it out just a little bit more. Just get rid of some of that natural sweetness that that honey has and just kind of give it a little bit of a burnt taste. The same as the butter. When you cook it out a bit more, it goes a bit biscuity. It's got this delicious flavour. Will work really well with the crumble. Just whatever you do, do not be tempted to put your finger in and taste it because it's like molten lava. If you put your finger in, it'll be like the scene from Terminator 1 where he's just like he's just left with no skin. Okay, so the honey and the butter has kind of bubbled together and it's got this lovely thick syrup. That I'm just gonna pour onto the oats and the flour mix. Scrape it all out and it's just kind of this lovely golden colour now. I'm just going to mix it gently together now. Do not be tempted to put your finger in, alright, because it is going to be hot. You just keep mixing and that flour mix will start absorbing all of that honey and butter. Now, the fruit has been baking for around about 10 minutes. And you can see there's not much difference in it. The sugar's beginning to break down, the fruit is beginning to soften, and that's just what we want. The fruit just beginning to soften it, okay? Okay, but before we put the crumble topping on, just a little bit of dried fruit, okay? So this has got some raisins, sultanas, currants, not too much. And then we're gonna put on our topping. And just try and put it all over the top, covering all the gaps. And you can see those almonds, kind of like those shards, those flakes. They're great because as you cook, that's going to give extra texture to it just being crumbly. Jab it up one way. Just trying to create little shards, okay? So making sure that it's not soft and patted in, but actually got texture. And that goes back into the oven. 190 degrees 
35, 40 minutes, and it'll caramelise, be crispy, be crumbly, be lush. Look at that, delicious. Small confession to make. It's been in the oven for about an hour, not 45 minutes. Also, at about 35 minutes, I put on about a handful of ready-made granola, all right? So shop-bought granola or muesli, whatever you got, just put a handful of sprinkling on the top just to give it extra crunch, all right? But you can see it's all bubbling and it sits and, oh, I mean, how lush does that look? Serve it up. Oh, mate, look at that. Oh. I couldn't find any custard, but I did find this. The best. Dead easy, dead simple, frozen fruit, few bits of bobs stuck together. Absolutely delicious. The family are going to love this. I mean, even if you haven't got family, it don't really matter. You'll love this. I mean, I could eat all of that on my own.